Okay, so this is the entire of my wardrobe emptied out onto my bed. Um, <laughs> let's get started sorting through this. And this is my wardrobe here, so like it's really hard to show on camera because it's like in a really dark corner, but it's just double wardrobe. Um, and this drawer is socks, that drawer is like vest tops and stuff, and then this drawer is all my basic concert t-shirts, so they're all, they've are they been sorted already, so it's literally all my hanging stuff I'm sorting through today. But I'm going to start with trousers, so similar to my other sorting out clothes videos, um, they're either going to go to charity or stay here in my wardrobe. So, trousers, what have I got here? So, this first pair is not from there because I haven't got like... Um, matching hangers but anyway so these are from Pretty Little Thing and um, they're just wide leg striped trousers I'll try and show you close up there you go um, they are super duper high waisted and like they're very long even on me um, I've only worn them once but I absolutely love them so I'm definitely keeping those okay so na next I have some checked trousers from Nasty Gal um, again I haven't actually worn these yet but I love these they're super lightweight and they'll be really nice in like spring Summertime, you know, if we're allowed outside in the house, but um, as you can tell, I like wearing grey, it suits me better than black, so yeah, I'm definitely going to keep those. Next ones are my Ralph Lauren, like, bootleg trousers. I got these from TK Maxx um, for my work placement at uni, but they're so good, like, they're super duper smart, they're only like 30 quid, so I'm definitely keeping those. These ones are also a pretty little thing, again, they're just kind of like smart trousers. They are quite baggy, so I have to like kind of roll them up to sort of give them a bit more shape, but... They're very much like a white top, so I'm definitely keeping those. So, great start so far. I'm not throwing away anything, but um, obviously I do have jeans and stuff which I've sorted through in that drawer. Um, but yeah. If I show you these two first. These are both from Topshop. As you can see, they're the same print, just a different colour. Um, really nice for summer. Again, super duper lightweight. They do really well in white tops, so I'm definitely keeping those. This one is from ASOS. I feel like these were really in fashion like about two years ago. Um, it's just like a pleated long it's kind of like a midi skirt if you like if you see that um it's really cute although it's a bit big on my waist i wore it to my summer ball at uni like two years ago but i haven't worn it since and i think it would do well at a night better home so that is going into charity again this one is top shelf i've had it since i was about 16 it goes well with black tops gray tops white tops i absolutely love it it's so nice for like winter time so that is staying this one is also top shop, sorry, it's got a lot of dog fur on it, but um, it's just like embroidered, it's kind of, it's really like sort of structured, which I really like, again it goes really well with um, like pink jumpers and things like that, so I'm definitely keeping that one, and then behind it is a similar thing to the other one, but it's got a paper bag waist, this is like the back of it, so you can't see part of the back, um, I've worn this flat pump off, but I do wear it on like other occasions as well, um, again, what I like with top shop skirts are not too short, and I'm like 5'10", so I need a, like a longer skirt, um, <laughs> But yeah, I'm definitely keeping that one. And have three more skirts. So again, this one is top shop, but the zip does up at the side. So I put that one down. So you can like, you can see there the zip is like on its side. Um, this one gives you such a nice shape. Again, I've had this since I was about 17. Um, but it still fits me really well, and it's like lasted really well. So I'm definitely keeping that one. And then on the other side of it, I have it. This is probably my shortest skirt I own. This is from Forever 21. Um, this is like a navy blue which I really like and it's just got gold zips. Um, again, this is really nice for winter time. As I've said before, navy suits me a lot better than black. So yeah, these two are staying. I then have two skirts from New Look. This one is just like a, I think it's called a jacquard print. Um, to be honest, I don't wear this skirt so I'm going to get rid of that one. But this one is such a, I feel like everyone should have a skirt like this in their collection. The, again, it's from New Look, just like a sort of checked plain grey skirt you can wear it casually or like in a more formal setting maybe in an office um yeah i've worn this at college and uni i think it's just a really nice piece to have but you can see it is thinner than my like top shop ones but as i said it's still like fine if we have black tights under it's absolutely fine so yeah next we're moving on to tops so again i'll go through a couple at a time just to kind of speed the process up so the first one is Topshop, it's actually inside out, but um, it's kind of like a peplum style kind of vest, I guess you'd call it. Um, so, ooh. so you can see it's got like frilly bits at the bottom and it just gives you a really nice shape here. And then like the top of it's kind of like cut out. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it, so I'm just keeping that one. The top is Primark, I've had this for years and I have worn it a lot, but like just looking at my pile of clothes, I feel like I don't really need this top anymore. So. 
that is going to charity. The next top is New Look. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you'll know I love a um, mesh top. I think they're just really good for nights out. Um, so this is like mesh with like pink embroidered sequins and like flowers and stuff with like a um, top that comes with it, like a sort of peachy pink top. I absolutely love this. I think it's really nice at Christmas time with like black jeans or like a black skirt. Um, so yeah, I'm keeping that one. It's a real one in the wardrobe, so everything is kind of in like sections, so like skirts, dresses, whatever it was. <laughs> Here comes the dog. So this top is Boohoo. I've had this top for literally, I think since I was about 14. It is really pretty, I do really like it. Like I love the daisies at the top and that's really cute. So I think I'm gonna keep that one for old time's sake. <laughs> The next one is very summery, this is from Forever 21, but I love the colour of it, I feel like this lavender colour really suits me. Um, I've worn some like nights out, um, but I feel like you could wear it like a, uh, with like denim shorts as well, so I'm keeping that one. So we have like a strapless top from Mint Velvet, sorry it's inside out, but um, it's just like a pale pink and then it's all kind of zigzags along the sort of chest area, which I really like. And on the other side I've got a like blue kind of blouse from New Look, which I really really like. This is so nice with like blue jeans or like a nice denim skirt, so I'm definitely keeping both of those. The next one, it's a shame, I love this top, but it's so impractical. This is River Island, um, it's kind of got embroidery on it, it's got like tassels, but it's really hard to do up, it's one of those you've got to like do it up from the inside, and then it's got these massive sleeves which just like get in the way all the time, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Next I have this top from ASOS, this is fairly new, it's really nice for winter time, as you can see it's that navy colour which I really like, um, goes really well with that Forever 21 skirt I mentioned earlier, so I'm definitely keeping that. Now this top I haven't even worn yet, um, if I'll put it back on the hanger for you. This top is Topshop, I think it's meant to be a pyjama top, because I've seen like shorts that go with it, but you could definitely wear this as like a normal summery top, it's still got the label on it, but it's got a really pretty back, like... So I feel like you'd have to wear this without a bra, maybe with like nipple covers or something, but I just think it's stunning. And with a with fake tan, obviously, it would look nice for me. Um, I mean, you probably wear a white t-shirt under it if you wanted to, but yeah, I really like this top, so I'm keeping that one. Okay, so this top is New Look. I've had this for a few years, but I really like it. It's just embroidery mesh. Again, really nice for some with like shorts or jeans. Um, yeah, I'm keeping that one. I'm not gonna lie, this pile of clothes is not really going down but, well, but it's fine. <laughs> Okay, the next top is Hollister. I've had this since about year seven. I don't really wear it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This top is New Look. It's got, I remember, I feel like about three years ago, everyone had this top. It just has daisies along the chest. I do like this top, but I've got other things like it. And to be honest, it never really gets hot enough in England to wear this sort of thing. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it. And also where I don't have big boobs, like I don't I can't really fill up the top, so <laughs> yeah, it's a solid note for me. So this one is a much nicer top. This is Forever 21, so it's just got like lacy flowers along the front. It's like stretchy at the back, so it kind of fits all sizes, and then it has a really pretty back strap. Um yeah, I actually love this top. Again, you could probably go bras with it because it's quite thick, so I'm keeping that one. So this top is Primark. I haven't really worn it. It's pretty, but I said I don't wear it, so I'm gonna get rid. This one is River Island. I absolutely love this top. Again, it's so bright, goes so well with like blue jeans, so I'm gonna keep that one. This top is TU at Sainsbury's. Um, I've only worn it once on holiday, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This top, again, is fairly new. I got it just before Christmas. It's from Zara. Um, I'll undo the sleeve. So yeah, it's just like, it's got like frilly panels on the front. You do need a top underneath it, but it doesn't really bother me that much because I have a lot of like white vest tops and bandeau bras and stuff. Um, but yeah, I actually love that, so I'm keeping that. Top comes with a story. So I asked for this for Christmas, but I bought it in a size eight. It was too small. So I've got, this is a 10 now. And I absolutely love the sleeves, but I think where it's corseted, it's really uncomfortable, um, which is a shame because you have to like that you go through hoops to find this top in a size 10, but it's just not very comfortable at all. Like if I'm sitting down in it, I feel really uncomfortable, so I think I might send, I should have sent it back at the time, but I just didn't because like uni and stuff, but yeah, I'll send it to charity instead. It was definitely one of those tops where I looked good on Instagram, but it wasn't very practical. <laughs> this is from um, Primark. I feel like everyone had this top about three years ago. 
Um, it's just a pink stripy shirt. To be honest, I don't really wear shirts anymore, so I think we're gonna get rid of that. It's River Island, it actually came from my mum. It's a size 14, but it's quite a small 14. Like, I've got it on the smallest strap setting. Um, it's really needs an iron, but like, as it is so nice on someone with like mum jeans or uh, blue denim shorts, um, or with like a nice denim jacket, like, I just really like it, so I'm keeping that. Again, this is quite new. I got it for Christmas. Um, this is from River Island again, but it's like a sort of long sleeve pink blouse, which I think is really nice. And I feel like if you tuck it in something, it will look really pretty. So I'm going to keep that. I apologise for my like, talking really quick, but the amount of clothes I have, I feel like I need to. <laughs> Otherwise, this video could be like three hours long. But anyway. This top is from Hollister, but I bought it in a charity shop. I absolutely love it. It looks really nice with a black sort of bralette underneath it. So I'm going to keep that one. So we've got two things here. The first one is a white cardigan from Urban Outfitters. This is really new and I really like it, so I'm gonna keep that one. But this pink top, I bought it probably about a year ago now. I haven't worn it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. That's like the back of it, by the way. So from New Look, top I absolutely love. This is a blouse from Topshop, so you, when you do the buttons up, it just looks like that. I've only worn it once, but I feel like when I can go out and about again, I will wear it a bit more. Like it looks really nice with black jeans, but also with smart trousers, so. Yeah, I like that one. Shirt. I know I've just said I don't really wear shirts, but I do like this one. This is just like an, um, sort of like, a brown nudie one. Um, again, it's got the tall shell buttons, like the other cardigan. And then it like ties up at the front, so it gives you more shape than the other, uh, shirt does. So I'm gonna keep that one. I also bought that in Ireland, actually. <laughs> this top is River Island. I absolutely love this top. Um, it's see-through at the back, so you need, do need a top underneath it, but doesn't really bother me so I'm gonna keep that one. This jacket is from Primark. I love it but it's just it's got very short sleeves so it doesn't really keep you that warm so I'm gonna get rid of that because it's just taking up space. I will go through my jackets pile now. So this one is from Next but I bought it in a charity shop, charity shop for my placement. Um, I really like this. I think it'll look really nice with a black skirt or black jeans so I'm gonna keep. This one is Primark but, but again I picked it up in a charity shop. It's just a plain black blazer which I think look, makes any outfit look really smart so I'm going to keep that. I have this cardigan from Pull and Bear, I absolutely love it so I'm going to keep that. This is a small but it's absolutely huge, like my mum can wear it as well so yeah I'm going to keep that. I've got a lot of white blouses so I do apologise for that. <laughs> okay the first one is Zara, I actually inherited this from, from my mum because it shrunk in the wash but I absolutely love it. Like. The embroidery is just stunning, so I'm going to keep that. This is another white blouse from Hollister, but it's like more of a peplum style with like the milkmaid uh, cut, which I really like, so I'm going to keep that. Okay, so we've got another white blouse from Hollister. I bought this a couple of years ago, but I absolutely love it, so I'm going to keep. Okay, so we've got two tops from Nasty Gal here, so they're actually kind of placed inside out, but anyway, if I just do that. So this is like a longer style peplum top, but it's got buttons like going down the front of it here, which I absolutely love. Although it's a bit small on my shoulders, but I can wear it off the shoulder, you wouldn't really notice. And then this one I wore on my 21st birthday. Again, this isn't a cropped one. It's like pink polka dot and it's got frills like on the bottom. Again, it's got buttons going down the middle of it. So I absolutely love those so I'm keeping. This is from Mint Velvet, but again, I got it in a charity shop. So it's just like a sort of thin cardigan, thin cardigan, thin like jumper. But on the back it's got like really pretty bows, so I'm going to keep that. Just climb into my bed. So, good lord. This is another white top from Zara. I absolutely love this. Um, so it's just kind of got a dipped hem at the bottom. So I'm going to keep that. We then have another white blouse from Zara. This is a cropped one with like a black ribbon. Um, again, it's really nice for like dinners and stuff, so I'm going to keep that. Obviously, as I said before, I had a placement at uni, and um, so I bought a lot of smart blouses for that, but I haven't even worn this. It's still got the label in it, so I'm going to send that back to charity. I then have another polka dot blouse from Forever 21. Um, I do like this, but it's a bit baggy on me, so I feel like I might send that to charity, but it's got like a really nice back on it, so... And I've got another navy blouse which I prefer, so. I bought this for placement, but I haven't worn it. It's just like a um, flowery brow, brow, blouse. <laughs> um, but it has, has like no shape to it at all, so that's gonna go back to charity. Last top, and we're starting to go into like dresses and places and stuff now, so. This top is a uh, top chop, I absolutely love it. It's got like an open back. Um, I don't know if I can show you because I do have a dress on it, but. Oh no, I can. I wore this to Halsey, so you tie it up at the back like that. Um, yeah, I absolutely love that. And the dress on top of it is like a bodycon dress from Miss Guided. 
I was gonna wear it to my 21st, but I didn't really need it. But I might be going to a wedding in August, so I thought it'd be really nice for that. So it's just like a one shoulder, like bodycon. Like it's really hard to show on a hanger, but it is really pretty on and really comfortable. So I'm gonna keep both of those. Okay, I was literally getting increasingly out of breath. So I've had a break, I'm gonna come back to it. Next, I've got like a summer maxi dress. It's got two slits down like the side. I haven't worn this in Zanti, so I'm gonna send that back to charity. Okay, so this is misguided. It's like a navy pinstripe, like culotte play suit thing. I absolutely love this, so I'm gonna keep that. And the back of it's really cute as well, so yeah. I usually put like a white t-shirt under it because like my shoulders burn, so. Um, the next dress is Primark. I absolutely love this. I think this would be really nice for like a wedding or just like a nice garden party or something. So I'm going to keep that. This is one of my like absolute favourite dresses. This is from Miss Selfridge. Um, but I got it in Topshop in the sale. So it's got like a kind of bow at the back. Really pretty buttons down the front of it. So I'm going to keep that for sure. Oh my god, this dress I wore to my brother's graduation like four years ago. And I wore it to a wedding as well. Um, I haven't worn it in a while, but I do really like it, so I'm going to keep it. So I bought this for said wedding that I went to, but it is a beautiful play suit. I was going to wear it to my uni summer ball, because like obviously wear it to play suit and there was rides and stuff. But it is quite short on me, like, can you see, I've got very long legs, so. And I said I bought it four years ago, I haven't worn it, so it's from Miss Selfridge. It's got a really pretty back as well. But yeah, I'm going to send it to charity, I haven't worn it, so it's a pretty little thing again it's like four years old i've worn it maybe once or twice but i haven't worn it in a very long time so that's going to charity i also don't know why i have so many dresses i don't really go to that many fancy places but you know a girl can dream okay these two i know for sure i just don't wear so this is a, like a t-shirt dress from uh is it forever 21 yeah and it's got like um sort of a lace thing at the back but i wore it in, on some holiday like over bikinis but i haven't worn it since and then this skirt is H&M. Again, it's really cute for summer, but I haven't worn it in like years, so goodbye. What well, a wintery dresses. So this is Topshop. I wear this a lot. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep that one. I haven't worn this yet. I bought this recently in the sale. Um, so again, Topshop. It's like a sort of skater dress. Um, I think this would look really nice, like black over the knee boots in winter. So yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Oh, we have another a dress from Topshop. <laughs> Topshop is such a good brand if you're a tall person like me. Um, so this is like a summer dress. It's got, again, it's got a slit in the front of it. Um, um, I absolutely love this. Like, it's so nice with like denim. You can really dress it up or dress it down. You can wear it with like sandals if you wanted to, like trainers. I wore this to London once for like a denim jacket. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that. And this dress is warehouse, but I bought it in a charity shop for like a fiver. I absolutely love the detail on it. Um, again, really cute with like a linen jacket in the summer, so I'm going to keep that. I've got two play suits here, which I absolutely love. This one I've had since I was about 16, but it still fits me. So, it's again, it's the navy colour, which I like. And it's got flowers on it, so I'm going to keep that one. Funny fact, I actually bought this one after prom party. Um, but I have worn it since, and I've worn it in like Barcelona on like holidays and stuff, so I'm going to keep that. And this is another play suit from Forever 21. Again, it's, like, it's a lot lighter than my other, that one from New Look. Um, but it's got a cut out back on it. Um, I absolutely love this as it's so lightweight when like heat wave weather. Um, okay, these two I know I don't wear. <laughs> I think, was it Eve I had this conversation with the other day? When like kimonos were so in fashion about three or four years ago. But um, I have not worn this outfit probably since like 2015. So I'm going to get rid of both of these. Because like as you've just seen I have a lot of white tops so do not need any more of those. I have another dress from Misguided. Um, I absolutely love this. It's a bit on the short side, but I think where your arms are covered, like it, it kind of makes up for it. Um, I haven't worn it, but I do want to wear it in the future. So I'm gonna keep that as a um, hopeful one. <laughs> this one I absolutely love. This is from Neon Rose. I, bought, I got it on ASOS. So it's just, a, I don't have any other red dresses actually, but it does, it's got a little buttons that sort of go down here, so it's not too revealing. Um, it's the perfect length on me. But yeah, I absolutely love this. It's quite thick as well, so you don't have to worry about it, like, sort of flowing around everywhere, whereas the misguided one's a bit thin. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love that. Classic LBD, the only one I have. This is from Topshop. I got it in the tool section. So obviously it's got, like, a nice sort of cut out of the back. Um, it is a shift dress, but, like, it goes in at your, like, legs a bit, so it does give you, like, a bit of shape rather than just being, like, a boxy dress. Um, but yeah, I've worn this a few times, I really like it, so I'm going to keep that. Nan gave me this cardigan, but I do not wear it, so that's going to charity. Dress I've worn for New Year's Eve, just gone. I absolutely love this. This is from Boohoo. 
like it looks way more than I paid for it. I paid like I think 30 maybe 30 quid no more than 30 anyway so it's like it's like mesh like a mesh bodycon sequin dress and the back of it is gorgeous as well um you do have to go bra so I just wore nipple covers with it but yeah I really like it I would like to wear it again as well so yeah we then got two items here so I've got my pink boohoo cardigan which I wear all the time and then I've got like a pink pinafore underneath this is really cute in spring summer this was from where was this from I feel like it was like a pretty little thing on Boohoo or something like that, but yeah, it's from Nobody's Child anyway. But yeah, I really like that, so keeping those. A lot in the winter, it's just a, a jumper dress from River Island. It is like a bodycon style as well, so it's really flattering, but really warm at the same time, so I'm going to keep that. I have a cropped cardigan from Nasty Gal. This is quite new. And then I've got like my long um, midi, mid acne dress from Topshop. Again, it's got a slit down the side of it, so you can kind of move about on it quite nicely. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep both of these. I then have a play suit from Topshop. I wear this a lot for nights out. Like it's even though it's black because it's got the flowers going through it, it kind of softens it a bit. Um, as I said, it fits me really nicely. It's got a nice kind of bow detail at the back as well. Um, yeah, I really like this. Another mesh uh, dress from River Island. Um, again, really good for nights out. I've had this for uni. I've never like I bought it about three years ago, but it never goes out of fashion. So I'm gonna keep that. We are nearly there guys. <laughs> this dress is Forever 21. Um, you do need like a little bralette inside of it, but it's so cute for like autumn time. Yeah, it's got really pretty like um, bow at the back of it. Um, yeah, I really like this, I'm gonna keep. Oh, I really like this dress, but <laughs> I don't know if I'll actually wear it. Um, this is from Nasty Gal. So again, it'd be really nice for like winter time, like autumn time. It's got like hearts on it. It's that sort of same wrap over style. Um, but it's a really nice length, like it's not too short. You can see it like, goes sort of midway down my thighs. Um, so yeah, I feel like again, it would be really nice like black over the knee boots. So I'm going to keep it and actually try and wear it this winter. <laughs> and finally, we have another jumper dress. This is from Next, but I bought it in a charity shop like a few months ago. Um, so it's just a roll neck. This is a size 6, but it fits me absolutely fine. I'm more of an 8 to 10 kind of girl. Um, but yeah, it's just like a nice sort of, um, what's it like? burgundy colour again really flattering it's like a bodycon style um yeah so i'm gonna keep that one that is everything sorted in my wardrobe i'm gonna put it all back in there now and kind of show you what it looks like okay so i've kind of ordered my um wardrobe again so like it's easier to find clothes so here i have all my jackets and like my cardigans and then if i set this out a little bit i've also made all the hangers go the like same way <laughs> to make life a lot easier so then i've got all my skirts here because like this is all my pyjamas and like extra clothes so that's like that bag there is like work uniform that's like summer uh, pyjamas and this is all like fluffy socks I know it's a bit ridiculous but that's all warm socks um so yeah I thought I'd put shorter stuff this side and then longer stuff that side so all skirts here and then I get into like my strappy sort of summery tops um and then like from here I sort of go kind of sleeve length um so I've got like white tops here um again sort of my flowery blouses and stuff and then in this section is all like long sleeved blouses um and then after that it goes like trousers as i said because i've got more kind of uh floor space i guess so i've got all my trousers there and then i've just got dresses and play suits in this bit so i've got that play suit and then this dress just like some occasion dresses and then i've got my shorter play suits and then my longer dresses as you can see i've got that like maxi dress and then all the other ones I've mentioned, um, I might put that one forward actually because obviously it's more of a strappy one than like a long sleeve dress. Again, I've got my occasion more like night out dresses and then just my jump dresses at the end. So my room is now a state. This is all the stuff that's come out of my wardrobe. Um, so yeah, I've got half a bin bag of clothes there and then that is all like stuff that's come out of my drawers which I just don't wear anymore. And those are the leftover hangers. So yeah, time to clean this up a little bit. I also just want to say, obviously, I know I do have a lot of clothes for some people. Some people might think that's not that many, but, like, just by clearing out my stuff, I'd realise how many clothes I have. So I'm definitely going to make a conscious effort, like, not to buy any more clothes because I just don't need any more. Um, especially, like, on a day-to-day -day basis. Obviously, lockdown's different, but, like, usually if I'm in my normal day-to-day -day life, like, uni, I just wear tops and jeans or, like, tops and leggings. And, like, if I'm home, I'm working and I'm in a uniform. So, like, I literally don't need that many clothes. But, um, yeah. I really want to like, sort of invest into like sort of sustainable fashion and like keep more of a like capsule wardrobe I guess um 
So yeah, I've bought most of those clothes with my own money. Like a few of them might have been presents from like years ago, but like nowadays I do mainly buy my own clothes. Like I, as I said, I've I've worked since I was sixteen, so a lot of my money I earn from working. I do spend on clothes. It's something I enjoy. Like I enjoy posting about clothes on Instagram and stuff. So I just wanted to put that in in case some people were like, why have you got that many clothes? Like as I said, it's just a passion of mine. Got a passion for fashion and all that, but. Yeah, as I said, I've always liked clothes. It's always been my little thing. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did like this video. I really enjoyed filming it. Like, seeing the amount of clothes I have is just ridiculous. But, yeah. <laughs> These things all need sorting out. So, yeah, as I said, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!